Chop this camera in the water. <laughs> the second we stepped off the dock. I know, I love it. The second we were off the dock and in the middle of the water. Look how far away we are now. And we're the only little boat on this lake. We're heading to right over there where those three tall pines are for our first little portage. Yeah, it's literally like glass. It's so calm. Oh, that's definitely it. Uh, we were lost for a second. Oh, we might still be lost. <laughs> First 20 minutes. Get my hat. We're bug spraying. We didn't put enough bug spray on initially. I think Em sprayed her mouth. I got, I probably already have like at least 10 mosquito bites. But like six of them were from yesterday, so I only got four today, so it's fine. Portage number one is very short, but I can already tell that filming and carrying all this stuff, I think I've got like 65 pounds worth of stuff. We're out here for seven days, we need seven days worth of food, which is quite a bit of food. So, I don't think I'll be able to be filming much on portages, but this is what we do. We have to cross. This is only 21 rods, literally. There's, which is like what? An eighth of a mile? And I am indeed a buffet for every mosquito. Okay, 9.30. We're going to that tiny little island over there, and that's where we're gonna go eat our breakfast. That's the goal. Yeah, look at breakfast spot. To our second portage that's right over there and I'm not gonna film it I'm just gonna put my camera away and we're gonna trudge along 75 rods, 75 rods. I'm gonna be painting like nobody's business I don't know if I'll be able to get to paint today I might. I'd like to if we find a campsite to settle at fairly early then maybe I will Mosquitoes are no joke. We're officially on Duncan Lake. I got about 20 bug bites. Yeah. That is not an exaggeration. Yeah, the mosquitoes on that last portage are really, 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 really intense. It's a conservative estimate, to be honest. Yeah, I was all worried about the rain. I was all worried it was going to rain. Our bug spray is working. Bug spray is not working. I don't think any bug spray would work. There are so many, so many bug bites. Look. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I got a couple on my feet too, and that's just one leg. I feel like the um, face softening on this is actually doing wonders for my face because oh. I'm actually covered in dirt right now. Do you want to give a bug bite count update? Oh, yeah. So we it, officially counted. This is not like an exaggeration. They only or... counted me. And there's been a big time jump because we had to do two more portages and battle bugs and then we went the wrong direction uphill and then had to go back down and then I lost a spoon and then <laughs> lots of stuff happened um, so we're in our 
We made tent. we whittled a spoon, don't worry. Um, Nikki whittled me a spoon, and then I whittled a different spoon, and I used both to eat my mac and cheese for dinner and to stir my hot cocoa. Um, now we're in our tent, and um, I did a, a mosquito bite count, and I had um, uh, 40 plus. 40 that you counted for 40 sure. that I counted, and then I gave up after 40. But I think it's somewhere around 40. On day one. <sighs> On day one, yeah. Mosquitoes are more intense than expected. We are currently awaiting the mosquito swarm. Um, in northern Minnesota, we have heard that there is, around sunset, a legitimate swarm of mosquitoes. So what we have experienced thus far is apparently nothing. nothing in comparison to what is yet to come. But so it, we're gonna be in our tent for that. We are currently in our tent. And we are awaiting what that experience sounds like, apparently first, mm -hmm. and then they all come out. Yeah, now we're, we're gonna go to bed, basically. Yeah. How bad do um, you I, hurt, Nick Nick? But the fire ban got lifted this morning for the Boundary Waters. So we were able to create like a little small um, smoky bonfire in our little fire pit, which super helped for the mosquitoes. It so did. we were able to sit outside. It for a little while. And our campsite, which we will show you guys in the morning, is amazing. Yeah. We just, it we just... overlooks <laughs> a beautiful cliff yeah. on, is that Canada? Yeah, you can see Canada from our campsite yeah and it's just beautiful cliff sides so it's been a long day since we left it's been started. a bit of a learning curve we're getting in the groove mm -hmm. tomorrow our plan is to chill here we're gonna have a layover day mm -hmm. maybe we're go gonna... check out a waterfall that we had to walk by today yeah because we went the wrong way we went the wrong way and then we didn't have the energy to stop the waterfall after we had to climb back down a mountain i didn't get to paint at all today and I'm no, trying to fill up my tomorrow. sketchbook. I'm trying to do two paintings today, a day. And so that means I'm gonna have to do four. We have mosquito bites where you would never envision On mosquito my bites ass. to be. If you try and go to the bathroom, they'll get you <laughs> when you're most vulnerable. <laughs> but it is stunningly beautiful out here and so serene and the water is so clear. Lots of good reference photos, so they need to sell so. them. We gotta save the battery. All right. this morning filtering us some water braving the mosquitoes I did get bit like at least another couple times while just trying to get out to the water but on the water there's no mosquitoes which is very nice we filter us some water so I can make some coffee this morning and um, I might spend a lot of time just out here on the water I think this might be where I'm painting because um, on the land is mosquito ridden and my mosquito bug spray just doesn't doesn't work i'm gonna get some water for us because we're definitely dehydrated because we didn't have enough water yesterday Go check if a bear ate our bear bag. That's our tent. This is our campsite. It's beautiful. I gotta run to make sure I don't get eaten by any mosquitoes. Should we still have food? Oh. <laughs> well. Ha. <sighs> <sighs> 
Egal. One bag of food. Guess what? A bear took one of our bags. No. Yeah. Our snack bag is gone. Kidding. Nope. I don't know how it happened because it's the. How did that happen? We tied it up so. The high. carabiner is in the tree still, hanging up, but both bags. We tied it up like twelve feet high. Were on the ground. Okay. So we don't have as many calories as we. Had originally planned, so we might have to cut Did our. We have coffee. Is our coffee in that bag, or was our coffee in the other bag? Coffee is in the other bag. I think. Oh no, coffee's here. Oh thank, oh, God. thank God. Oh. Yeah, it's just gone. There's like no sign of it. Here, look. Come here. What happened? The string's still up. The carabiner is still up there. The carabiner's 12 feet up off the ground. No, the rope is still totally intact in the tree. It's, uh, the carabiner's still in the tree 12 feet off the ground. Like it's not broken, nothing's broken. What the, how did that happen? I don't know. It, it, that was on the ground, D-rings were unbroken. Carabiner's still in the tree, totally unbroken, locked, cause it's got a lock on it. I don't get it. It's 12 <laughs> feet off the ground. I don't know. I'm like, did a person take it? Why And why would they only take one bag? No one's going to do that. No one's going to do and that. They're going to take that bag of any bags. Yeah, not the snack bag. There were some expensive snacks in there. What do we do? I think we just have to not have snacks, cut our trip short, maybe eat some of our, our provisions as snacks. We can also eat half food. All right, we're just gonna make some coffee and figure things out from. I need coffee before I can do anything. That sounds I'm so good. So happy the bear didn't steal the coffee. That's... Thank God. Thank you, bear. That's a silver lining. God, it's twelve feet up. What happened? The branch didn't break. The branch, yeah, like nothing is broken. It's still tied exactly the way it was. It, but that was on the ground. That was just sitting on the ground. I'm gonna go look a little bit and see if I can see any kind of like um, shrapnel anywhere. Okay, you can be really careful. Yeah, I'm gonna be really careful. Oh. I found it. Somebody had a great time. We're making coffee before I go show Nikki the bear bag shrapnel. Um, and she made me a beautiful cup of dirty chai, and then I promptly spilled it into the fire and put out most of the fire. Um, she's making me another cup of coffee, and <laughs> then we're gonna figure out where to go because we can't stay here tonight because the bear knows there's food now. I don't know how. The rope is still tied to the tree. The, the locking carabiner is still up in the tree. This bag was on the ground. The D-ring that it was connected to, unbroken, is completely unbroken. This bag is completely unscathed. They were tied together. It was at least 12 feet off the ground. Maybe some amazing bushman knows the answer to why our bear bag was. Yeah, if you're an amazing bushman, please leave Please a leave comment. a comment. I don't know what I did, did wrong. What happened? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. We are trying to figure out what to do because we don't have enough food for all the days of our trip now. If we want to stay out the whole time, we need to go get more food. So our plan right now is to backtrack, go get a campsite on a previous lake, and then tomorrow go back to our outfitter that rented us the canoe, grab our van, head out, grab more food, more bug spray options, and then come back and start our trip over again. Cause we're not giving up. Mm-mm, no shiggy. No. No, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough out here. No painting has been done yet. Uh, lots of reference photos though. We're getting there. <laughs> So, we'll see you 
<laughs> whatever we do next. Hi, Froggy. Here, we'll leave. Water, we'll drink more water, I promise. We're on our way back to Duncan. That's the plan. Okay, we found a campsite and it's over there. And the reason we're not over there is because there are so many mosquitoes that we just can't, we can't even bear it anymore. It's 11 a.m. It's 11 a.m. We're just gonna hang on this canoe all day. Yeah, we're gonna be on the canoe until it's time to go in the tent. But tomorrow- But it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is like canoe. the best day. It is so nice out. The fact that we can't be on land is like kind of silly and ridiculous. Yeah. But it really is a silver lining because it's so beautiful out here. It and is. And we have all of our stuff. Minus our tent, we saved our tent spot. Yeah, we put our tent over there so no one takes our campsite, but everything else is in here so we can just gonna hang. eat. And so a bear won't take this food. We're gonna paint. We're gonna paint. Read. Read. Boo Boo and Jay. On the water. In the canoe. In the canoe. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Whee! This trip's turning into M's froggy tour. Buddy. Sugar, I just made a really good friend. Um, I got a new frog buddy. Oh, yeah. Ow, I'm biting flies. God, these flies. The no, the flies did. No, the frog's my, an angel. All right, it took a while. We have a bear bag in a tree so far up off the ground. Way higher than yesterday. But I don't think we can get much better I than that. I don't think we can get much out. better than that. I think this is the best we can get, and this is what we're gonna do. It's one o'clock. And we're officially staying here at this campsite because we got our bear bag in the tree. And, and this we figured out a place to put our tent. Super so great. We, can, we can just look out. This is our view. So good. Knitting a little bit. Oh, we've been waiting for our lunch to cook. What do you got? Gluten free risotto. That sounds very good. Is it mushroom? Or just. Um, I think it's with chicken. Chicken risotto? That smells so good. It does look really good. And I got pasta. I don't know if it's done yet. Pasta primavera with my mm. handmade spoon. Because it was delicious. It was good. really love this tent placement, but it was getting kind of hot because there was no shade, so I put up a little tarp for us. We'll see how that holds up. I've got some adjustable knots there to be able to shift it down or around if we need to, depending on how hot we get. But for right now, it's looking good. It looks like a beautiful little sail.
don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me because of the wind, but the wind came in and started making all these really pretty little waves. And so I decided to do my best to try and paint that like amber water underneath the highlights of the sky. Kind of tricky, definitely experimental, but I think it turned out pretty fun. What's on the menu? I've got mushroom fettuccine alfredo. You've got pad thai with chicken. Chicken pad thai. Delish and homemade spoon. We did um we did another mosquito bite count, but I, we only chose one limb. I, we did one foot. We counted Not all the mosquito bites. Not even a whole bites. limb. Oh, it's just a single body part. Yeah. My one foot but my one foot has 30 mosquito bites on it. Yesterday, my whole body had 40. So, <laughs> she laughing at me. She thinks that's hilarious. It's just so insane. So I'm not bothering to count my whole body, but it's more than yesterday for sure. But this campsite that we're at right now- Has way less way less mosquitoes, which has been amazing. I think because it's got, it's much more open. So it's got this really beautiful breeze that comes in. Like this is our view tonight as we're gonna be falling asleep. How amazing is that? And I think it protects us. Okay, so here's the game plan. We're gonna head to Civilization for just a second to see if we can get some bug spray. Yeah. That works, because ours doesn't work one tiny, tiny, tiny bit. We are just gonna stick with the food that we have left and just see how much we can ration and see how long we can stay out here for and then we'll leave when we're out of food. Fingers crossed that they sell bug spray and that it works. If not, We'll drive to a, a Walmart like an hour and a half away and get some bug spray and come back. <laughs> we ain't giving up. Not today. Not today, Shuggy. Not today. Not today. Here we go. Here we go. You got everything in that bag? I think so. Okay. Okay, bye campsite. We'll be back. Here we go. Without all our stuff. All right, it's nasty, but they said it'd work. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think it's legit gonna work too. We haven't seen any more mosquitoes around us since we put the bug spray on, so we it think it's working. It stinks It's though. nasty stuff. Nasty, nasty. Nasty, nasty. But I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm updating camera. I did update the camera on the, um, the bug spray, which does seem to be working. I think I got only two bites compared to the like 300. I got none. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> right over there in the distance is a miracle. That right there is our tent. Little yellow spot. Where Are you is it? For real? Oh my God, how big is that spider? I, it's huge. <gasps> it's the biggest spider I've ever seen. Oh my God, in that my, is, oh my, my God. Lord, 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 Lord. Too close. Oh, it's for too close. Too close. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. We're, it's okay, we're okay. It's all good. 
It's okay. It's okay. We're too close. We yeah. Got too close. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. We're all good. Bye, Mr. Spider. I do not like you, sir. <laughs> At all. It's all right. Uh -uh. It's nope, all right. We're going back. Nope. It's okay. All right. We're good now. You okay? Okay, silence is so bad. But I didn't get as many. We made it back. High five. High five. High five. Good decision to go back. Okay, so I was having this thought and I wanted to vlog it before it's gone forever. I feel like I do pretty good out in the woods. I feel like I handle like bugs and discomfort and like all the kind of like woodsy stuff just fine. But when it comes to backpacking, it's really, really hard for me because I lose track of literally everything at every second of every day. I don't know where my fork is. I don't know where my camera is. I don't know where the food is. I don't know where I put anything ever. So my brain doesn't function well when all of my items are all over the place and they don't have like specific locations. Nikki's been very helpful reminding me where all my things are and keeping track of things for me because woof. That's definitely hard on me out here. It's worth it for sure. I'm just like, this is definitely one of my bigger struggles is losing literally everything. It's definitely a little ADP. Though. Yeah. something in my ear and Nikki needs to get it out and it's making her feel very scared. I wonder if we can somehow try to coax it to come because I, I can't pour water in it. See it at all. Should you try pouring water in it? Oh wait, hold on. I think I might see it. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay. I'm going to try the end of this. Okay. Tapestry needle. Plastic tra tapestry needle. You're doing so good. You're doing so good, boo. You are too. You're doing really good yourself. Thank you. Is there a bug in there? That's a bug though, right? It kind of looks like a bug. Okay, I just want to make sure we're confirmed. Can you just double check and make sure there's not, because it might not have been a whole bug, um, and I would love for parts of a big bug to not be in my ear. This is worth conquering stuff on this trip. <gasps> Woo! Woo! That your ear is clean. Okay. Clean ear, there's nothing else in there. Not that I can see. Woo! Does no, it's fine. No, you're not. You know you can do it now. I can do you it. You know that. It just better the f not happen to me. <laughs> well, you know that. Jibby beep that out. <laughs> It looks like a storm rolling in. So, we're getting some water. We're moving our tent away from this tall tree just in case there's any thunder. Okay, we rushed because this is coming in. We're hearing thunder in the distance. Back up, put everything over there. Back up. Because it's farther away from this tree. That's as far as we can get currently without being on the water, which is not a good idea either. Froggy's taking shelter. Smart idea, buddy. Also got a crawdad taking shelter down there too. Smart boys, good job. We made it into the tent just in time. <laughs> Oh my god. We did a bug bike <laughs> <count> update. <laughs>
<laughs> and I swear, <laughs> I swear this is not an exaggeration. And I would show it on camera, except it's we my would, butt and yeah, all of my bare we, leg and my on foot. On one limb, M's full leg, her right leg and her right foot has 107 bug bites on it. We, we gave up on This counting. is not an exaggeration. <laughs> we were gonna do a full body bug bite count. Ow. But if we just multiply that by about four. Yeah. Plus her torso. My torso and my neck and my head and my face. I got one on my lip, my M lips swelled has up. over 500 bug bites on her body. Uh, a pro I have, I don't have over, I have, this is an approximation because we're, I don't want to count them all because I'm too devastated about all the bug bites I have all over myself. I have approximately 500 bug bites if we averaged the one we counted that had 107 on it. And Nikki's like, maybe we should head home today. And I'm like, no! <laughs> no, 500 bug bites? But I did, I, uh, She won't stop itching. I can't, I'm really trying to, it hurts so, I hurt so bad, Oliver. There's my neck one. Oh yeah, that one's the prettiest. Ooh. <laughs> the mosquitoes are insanity. It's better with the bug spray we got today. It's better with the bug spray we got today. But when I was just out trying to go to the bathroom, I got at least 10 more bites. Yeah, also it stormed at least. today. And the Bugs are about tenfold since the storm. I itch so bad, my toes! My toes! You're a strong girl. I'm a girl. strong girl. I'm a tough girl. We have a day and a half worth of food left. And I think we should keep going. Ooh. Storm's over. Water's so calm. It's so calm. It's like crystal clear. And we're uh, taking some food out in the middle of the lake to have dinner. So we thought that'd be fun. Need a woodpecker all the way over there. So handsome. Can't hurt me. It's so instances. handsome. We likes you. <laughs> Look how pretty. It's like so close to my face. I know. Which I don't like. I know. Who wants to be your friend? I'd prefer to not be your friend. I know you look very nice. There's another one. This stuff is so <laughs> gnarly. <laughs> like it feels like it shouldn't be allowed. It, yeah, but I think it's most, it mostly works. Other than the mosquitoes being a little extra crazy this morning. It is the most beautiful day out here. There's mist on the water. All right. This one got going so fast. I was so proud of myself. Bam. It's all wet out here too and I was able to get it going. I'm down to my last camera battery. Phones are almost dead. Um, so I really only have today left to vlog. I really have only one day left to vlog. So whatever we get done today, I'll have to wrap up in a post, post video when I'm back home and I can charge my batteries again. <laughs> this fire's going good. Nikki made me a little dirty chai. We're doing really good. I'm really, really proud of us. Me too. It's been like a, 
big, 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 big challenge. Lots of really, really serious challenges. I definitely feel like this was a little bit of a survival test. All the crap that happened. Yeah. And I you can't see me because of the exposure. It would have been super amazing if this was like just a chill, everything went right, relaxing vacation style uh, trip. But you know what? I kind of am really into the survival challenge. I kind of feel like the survival challenge has done more for me mentally than like a restful, perfect, nothing goes wrong trip. What up? We have done so good in spite of like all the craziness. And so it was a massive undertaking and challenge for just doing something new in general and for it to literally be like, okay, well, you're either gonna be extremely uncomfortable or you'll die out here if you don't do the things right. I, I don't know, I'm feeling like we've, not that we came out here to conquer, but I'm feeling so accomplished. This is like, has been such a proving moment for myself that I can do really hard things. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, things are too hard for me. I can't do them. When things are too hard, I just don't want to do them. But I didn't do that this time. You couldn't. I couldn't. I just had to do all the hard things. And in the moment they suck, in the moment they suck. But of the challenge is really, really incredible. And I feel like I can take this back with me and do some really amazing things that aren't nearly as hard as getting 500 mosquito bites or figuring out how to make sure a bear doesn't eat the only food you have and <laughs> having to filter your own water and, and be your only method of getting in and out of anywhere. No vehicle, just you and your arms. And for me, that was the method to the forced unplug. Yeah. Which is what I needed. Yeah. And I haven't missed my computer or no. my phone. The only reason I've missed my phone and my computer is because I'm like, oh, I want to look at these reference photos I took so bad. I have taken just the most beautiful reference photos of my life here. I am so excited to get back home and paint my little butt off. I'm so excited and I wanted, I wanted to do more painting while I was out here. My goal was to fill up that sketchbook and that did not happen because we spent too much time surviving. I thought I'd have more free time. Cause I was like, what do you do out in the woods? Nothing, you have so much free time. No, you spend it making sure that you're, you're, you're fairly comfortable and you're staying alive. Overall out here it feels really, really isolated, but it's kind of nice. There's enough people that makes you feel that safe enough that if something went wrong, you're okay. It's like comforting to see other people and also really nice to have so much alone space. Like the vast majority of the time, we're the only canoe on the lake. And then like every couple hours, we'll see somebody go by. Enjoy the scenery. What a good actress. You're gonna be big. Yep. This is part of the experience as well, is yeah. that anytime you need food, it's at the very bottom of your bear bag. Yeah, it is. And you have to unpack everything. Exactly what you want, because our bear bag is like predominantly full of garbage now. So you need to dig through garbage because for some reason all the garbage is on the top. And then you gotta make sure you restack it correctly so your crunchies or your soft things aren't on the bottom as well. See, th this is the issue too, is that I don't think about that stuff, so then all the crunchies and the soft things get messed up. I know. <laughs> I love you though. She loves me. <laughs> Parents, one baby.
So down this way might be how we get to the waterfall easy. I think it is. Yeah. All right. This vertical climb is the way we went. That was the wrong way that we were bringing the canoe up that we were talking about and where I lost the spoon. So we're here to enjoy this hike without a canoe and to look for that spoon. So I don't feel like I'm littering and I can get my spoon back. It's a nice spoon. It's like a $9 spoon. You carried this canoe up here. Yeah. Look at this. Look at all these rocks. I think you maneuvered all these rocks, climbed up this practical mountain. That's Rose Lake. And Canada are those mountainy cliffs you see on the other side. Okay, spoon like I think it was further up. I think it was right around here. All right. Yeah, I think it was here. Where did I drop my stuff? If it's not here, I really hope some nice backpacker found it, picked it up. Yeah, I don't see it. All right, let's keep going. Maybe it'll magically appear in the middle of the path on our way back down. This is the top of a tree right there. Yeah, her first camp was that second bend right there. Kind of on that second bend. Yeah, it's right around the other side of it. The deep bug spray we got did enough to get us to the lookout point and that beautiful waterfall. I'm getting low on battery here. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of it on just capturing some really beautiful things to paint and put in the video. And then I'll do a recap. <sighs> when I can charge everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just soaking in how wonderful it is out here. And Nikki keeps saying, like, you keep saying the same thing. It's so beautiful and amazing out here. And that it sounds so cliche it does. about how amazing it is. But I'm like, oh my God. It's so amazing out here. It's Makes it hard to want to leave. I mean, there's a lot of things that do make me want to leave, like my shower and like food because we're running out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat fish and, I, and we don't have any fish here. So we're talking about how we, we've been to Yosemite and some like national parks that are, and this isn't a national park. This is like national forest, right? It's technically a national forest. National forest. How crowded they are, like Yosemite in particular, is stunningly beautiful. We've been there multiple times each, together and separate. Wait, this is like, I don't know if I ever go without you. But this... It's a larger Yosemite, yeah. but you have it to yourself. And it doesn't have like the huge mountains like Yosemite does, obviously. It's got these like small no, mountains. About larger in terms of size. Yeah, and it is truly, like we saw, we just passed a canoe over there. And there's like another campsite way far down the lake. But from our campsite, we see no one else. No one else except maybe a canoeer, maybe every couple hours. It is so beautiful. 
and private and serene and like wilderness. But we're coming up on our shore. Here we go. Scrape, scrape. I was awake in the middle of the night last night and it was so silent, so silent. I couldn't hear anything for a second and then I heard little frogs croaking. And that was it. All right, now I really gotta save the battery because it's getting down. But I just had to share those thoughts. All right. weeks later since we've gotten back and we clearly have survived we made it back out of the wilderness and my like my ankles and my arms and my legs and my ass have healed from all of the mosquito bites for the most part and I've gotten some new ones actually that are battery waters related all my batteries and our phones died so I wasn't able to capture the end of our trip which is a bummer but I used the very, very, very last of the juice that I had for a bunch of reference photos that I'm super, super excited about. I just went like crazy taking photos of all the beautiful stuff around me. And a bunch of those, like a hundred reference photos are now up for my $2 and up patrons on Patreon, which is very exciting. I feel like I can say for certain that this was the biggest adventure of my life. I, in general, don't have like a huge travel bug. I mean, I've, I've been to Europe a couple times and I've driven across country many, many times now. It's something that I like to do. But like in general, I feel like I'm not like the biggest, like I need to travel person. But this one in particular was so, it felt so rewarding by the end of it. Like by the time we were paddling out, getting ready to leave and actually like on our way down, like you're exhausted, you're dead tired. I feel like we left feeling so grounded. I felt super proud of myself for accomplishing that because there was a bunch of hard like physical stuff and usually when things get hard, like things are heavy or if I'm tired, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do it. But I pushed through and I was a very good girl and even when stuff was really heavy and really hard, I kept going. <laughs> there was no, there's no cell service, there's no internet, no electronics, literally just my cameras to be able to document it, obviously, and take reference photos. Oh, you're like so, it sounds so weird and hippie. You're like so tapped into nature. <laughs> you're like, I'm just an animal. I'm one with the universe. The trees are me, the animals are me, the waters are me. I don't know if everybody feels like that, but I get very like woo woo one with the universe when I'm out in nature like that. And that's always such a really, a really comforting feeling for me. I know it could freak some people out a little bit, but I'm like, I am a speck of dust in the universe and I love it. <laughs> From an artistic point of view, I was not able to paint as much as I had anticipated. I think I originally said that I wanted to do two paintings a day for seven days to fill up my whole sketchbook. Did not happen. I think I did four. Let's see, hold on. Let's go get my sketchbook and see. All right. So I did one. This one was super quick. It only took me like 20 minutes because that's all I had time for because we were paddling. Two, I sat and did this one for maybe like 45. Three, this one was also probably like a 45 minute one trying to capture like the red, the like red yellow rocks in the water. And then four. Oh, I did five total. This was the one that I did my actual like full video on and recorded most of it and took the most time on. And then five. I did this one too, which is a little more colorful and experimental that I did from the tent that I think while it was still like wet outside. I wanted to do 14 paintings. I did five. I did not anticipate how much time I was gonna actually spend literally surviving, like 
getting things set up and getting to where we need to go and getting food and then getting food put away and so that a bear doesn't eat it, but then the bear does eat it and uh, not being eaten by mosquitoes and making sure we weren't rained on and like all kinds of stuff that ended up taking much more time than I expected. I kind of expected to have like plenty of free time to just sit around in the dirt and paint. That was not the case. Hi, good girl. Hi. You missed me while we were gone, huh? Even though I was only able to do five paintings, I still feel like I got a lot of artistic value. I spent so much time just like observing the environment and really paying attention to the lighting on the trees at certain times of day and the way the water looks, depending on like how hard the wind is blowing and like what shadows are cast and like paying attention to a lot of the color of the environment, like all these things that are just, I tried really hard to let soak in my brain the like visual of my environment. And I feel like that's kind of hard to do. It's hard to memorize visually things, but I feel like with enough exposure, there is a certain like sinking in of environmental visuals that I'm then able to pull from my brain to put into my art. There are definitely things obviously I would do different. I wrote down a couple. I'd bring less clothes. I brought like three shirts and three pairs of leggings. I didn't need it. I basically wore two. I could have worn the same thing every day the whole time. Um, I need more battery power for my cameras because running out sucked. It adds more weight to your pack, but also like, I wanted to be able to film the whole trip, but I did not have enough stuff to do that. <laughs> well, I also think going out for not as long, we intended to go out for seven days. Um, which means we had to bring so much food and then it was really heavy to get into a tree and I got eaten by a bear anyway. If you have a shorter amount of time out there, then you don't have to bring as much, which is what I think is gonna be the way to go for me because I hate carrying heavy stuff. And I need better clothes and mosquito spray. I don't know if a, sp a spray could be any better because we got the nastiest stuff when we went back to like get it. Um, but at least like looser fitting pants and I think looser fitting shirts will help with the mosquitoes. That's what I do differently and what I will do differently because we definitely want to go back. We have the intention of going back. It was so amazing. It's not something I necessarily recommend to everyone because it's definitely like rough. You're really rough in it big time. But if you're up for that kind of thing, wow, it was one of the most amazing places you could have imagine to be out there all alone. It was so amazing and we were so tired and I had so many mosquito bites. <laughs> I left very itchy. I'm no longer itchy though, so I can look back and be like, wow, have fun. <laughs> it was very fun. It was a very cool experience. So that's it for this video. Finally wrapping this up and getting this out and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, Bean's out of here. Bye.